Seam Showboy here and welcome back to another video. Real quick background, if you guys have noticed, is the exact same. I'm only saying that because I, I recently moved, so that's cool. Uh, but my bed and the artwork, the lamp, the colorful lamp and everything is in the exact same spot. So it's going to look like absolutely nothing has changed. So in other words, uh, yeah, let's just get into the video. So about, I don't know, a day or two ago, Samsung released the highly leaked Galaxy S9 and 9 Plus, and we are gonna talk about it right now. The Galaxy S9 was either gonna go two ways, okay? It was gonna be a replica of the 8, plus a couple extensive features, or it was gonna be a completely new phone. Now, it, it was the first one. A, 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 about half people, maybe a little bit more, were kind of disappointed in that, especially people that aren't really into tech. They kind of wanted maybe a newer phone, especially because Samsung usually does some really different stuff every year. But that wasn't the case this year. Uh, the Galaxy S9 is, I'm pretty sure, the exact same shell as the Galaxy S8. Most of the features are the exact same. There's just a couple updated specs within the phone, a couple camera updates, some color updates, and we're gonna get into all that right now. So like I said, the Galaxy S9 is practically the exact same thing as the Galaxy S8. Still got the five inch screen, it's still got the four gigs of RAM. Uh, it's pretty basic, 64 gigs of storage, exactly what you would expect in probably this phone. Pretty average specs for an Android, not gonna lie. But the very first thing that stands out compared to the S8 is that the Galaxy S9 now has the newest version of the Snapdragon processor. And to top that, Galaxy S9 is the first ever to carry the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor in it. They were chosen exclusively to do it first with Qualcomm. So real quick to go over the, uh, the new processor a little bit, there's some camera updates and AR updates, augmented reality updates, and there is also some security updates, which we will get into most, if not all of those, in a few minutes. First, we're going to talk about the camera, because I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people are going to buy this phone for. Is uh, th This is very interesting. Uh, the Galaxy S9 now has a custom aperture camera. You can actually change the aperture on the camera, in the camera app, and you can actually see the aperture change size on the back of the phone. And this primarily allows for pictures to be, t to be taken with lower uh, lighting, um, some more focal uh, shots, like some wider angles and stuff like that. Um, so in other words, you're not really limited to a specific set of quality of pictures anymore. You can range from different apertures now. It's really interesting and it's the first ever custom aperture to be in a smartphone. Now this next thing is kind of interesting. I don't really know how much this is gonna tailor to people, but Samsung now has this thing called the intelligence scanner in the S9, where it not only does just the iris scanning to unlock your phone, but it now does face ID, hypothetically speaking. So it starts with Face ID, and if Face ID doesn't work, it falls back to the iris scanner. So in other words, it's like a, a backup system, if that makes sense to unlock your phone. So hypo hypothetically speaking, there's two ways to unlock your phone with your face, but it technically only uses one of them because it only goes to the second one if the first scan doesn't work properly. So hypothetically speaking, there is double the security when unlocking your phone using your face. And then of course there is also the fingerprint reader still on the back of the phone, which is now under the camera versus to the side of it now, which is a more universal place. You're starting to see fingerprint readers in the center of the phone versus kind of awkwardly off to the side. Plus this helps with camera smudges and you get the idea. The next thing, and this probably isn't a deal breaker to most people, but Galaxy S9 is coming your way with Android Oreo 8.0. 
Uh, I, I don't know if the Galaxy S8 has an update for this yet, having Android Oreo, because I don't have an S8, still on the S7. But if the S8 does not have Oreo, your S9 will have a fresh Android OS. And to top it all off, we have different colors introduced to the Galaxy S9. We now have Midnight Black, which has already been the color of the S8. We also now have Coral Blue, Lilac Purple, which is really going to attract those female buyers. And we also have Titanium Gray. And I actually don't know why, but am, am I the only one that missed the Titanium Gray? in the presentation that Samsung gave. I, I don't think they included it in the presentation. I may be wrong, but I just figured that out today versus a day or two ago that titanium gray is now a color. So there's four colors, one you already know of, and then three new ones. Pre-orders for the Galaxy S9 and 9 Plus are early March, and I think they ship out mid-March. I don't know the exact days, but you know, early March, mid March, and it starts at 719. And I personally think this is a fantastic price. It's only what, about 70 ish dollars more than the Galaxy S8. I think that's a pretty solid price point, especially because iPhone 10s are freaking thousand dollars. I mean, who has that type of money? Then again, you know, a $700 phone is still a $700 phone. It all comes down to personal preference, but you know, Galaxy S9 has been released. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Make sure you guys like this video. If you guys like what you saw, subscribe if you loved what you saw. And uh, yeah, my name is CM Showboy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, peace. Adios.